a false balance is abomination to Yahweh, but a just weight is his delight. Right? That's Proverbs 11 and 1. False balances are something hated by the Most High. Right? Amos 5 and 15 says we have to hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment at the gate. Right? As soon as we see something. So this is something that I hate as well. Right? False balances. People portraying themselves to be something that they're really not. Right? Men calling themselves kings, but act and move and gossip and talk like little boys. Right? Men that are elders and priests and teachers, but they don't even teach and provide properly for their own households. Right? Females that call themselves Proverbs 31 women. Right? But play the role of the man and and control and have power over their relationship and, and over the man that's supposed to be the leader, right? Females who call themselves princesses but dress like worldly, lascivious, uh, uh, and Jezebelish women, right? Females who act like an Israelite on one social media account. And then they have another one, and, and they act like a damn heathen on it, right? All of these things are false balances, and, and they are abominations to the Most High. Brothers and sisters posting up verses on their Instagram, talking about, Seek Him ten times more. Study to show yourself approved. And then, they spend all day just scrolling on their phone, right? Being covetous, not seeking the Most High not studying to show themselves approved, watching Netflix all day, right? Men telling females they want to be their, their head and want to lead them. And yeah, I want to do you right. I want to provide for you, right? And then what happens, they get with them and, and they really just took that sister for lust and it becomes apparent like this, right? Sisters talking about how they love the Most High. They love Yahweh Shai. But then they marry a man that doesn't even live and move the way that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai said he has to move. Right? No, you don't love the Most High. Because you don't even choose a head, right, that the Most High would approve of in the first place. Right? You love your emotions. You love not being alone. Right? That's what you love. False balances, man. False balances. Or, or, you know what? This is something I see, right? Something I see a lot. Brothers say, she has to submit to me as unto the Lord. Right? See, look. Ephesians 5 and 22. But then the brother's not even moving nothing like the Lord. Right? Not being a man. Not providing. Leading her into sin. Right? The sisters got more wisdom than him. She she decides what goes and she tells him what to do and she's the one keeping things in order. False balances, man. Let me ask you brothers this. If you had a job, right? And you were smarter than your manager, you're smarter than your boss, right? Would you naturally be obedient? Would you naturally want to be subservient and under them? Right? If they were moving and conducting themselves like little boys and you were more of a man and you were more uh, you were moving in more wisdom than them, I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. Right? And then and then sisters saying uh they want to be covered and they want to be taken care of and want to be provided for and, and led, right? But then they're rude and they're disobedient. They can't cook, they can't, they can't clean, they can't sew. They can't even raise or, or teach their children anything, right? Their children's babysitter is a TV or a phone or a tablet, right? Brothers talking about how they want to be more valuable than fine gold to a woman, right? Now we're in Jacob's trouble. I'm going to be more valuable than Jacob's trouble to a woman, 
right? Or even to multiple women. I'm going to have multiple wives in Jacob's trouble. I'm going to be more valuable than gold. But they can't even provide for themselves right now. Never, never mind even having a woman or women, right? They can't even provide for themselves right now, right? False balances. And I could go on and on and on with all the things that I see, man, on a day-to-day -day basis, right? Uh, like I was talking to the brother Jomar, the Most High put me in a very, um, I don't want to say privileged position, but I feel blessed in the position that I'm in because I get to, to talk to and see so many different things, right? So many different things amongst Israel. And it's like the Most High reveals all these things to everybody. Right? But I feel like I, I get to... He's blessed me with the ability to see all these things, man. But the point is, a false balance is abomination to Yahweh. Right? But a just weight is his delight. Trust me when I say you do not want to be an abomination to the Most High in these last days. Right? Just look at what's happening in, in the so-called Middle East. Right? You want that to happen to you? That's coming to America. That's coming to wherever you're at pretty soon. Right? You do not want to be an abomination to the Most High. In the famine. In martial law. Right? In, in mandatory vaccine times. Right? You want to be that just wait. Because he delights in that. Don't call yourself a king if you're moving like a little boy. Don't call yourself a princess or, or a Proverbs 31 or a daughter of Zion, right? If you're moving like a shameless, worldly, lascivious woman, right? Don't be posting up verses trying to teach and then you're not even sincerely trying to apply what you're talking about, right? Don't, don't be trying to teach your family members, we're the Israelites and, and look at these verses and this, that and the other and you're still living like a heathen. Right? That's not gonna, that's gonna, they're gonna see you as a false balance. That's gonna push them away even more. Right? Plain and simple, just, just be real. Right? Just be real, man. Be who you say you are. Cause like Revelation 3, 15 and 16 says, the most high or cold. Right? If you're, if you're gonna be lukewarm in the, play in the middle, if you're gonna be a false balance, you're an abomination to the most high. Right? So all praise to the Most High. Y'all have a good one. Shalom.